Hello and welcome back to TechIVHQ. Uh, in this quick video, I'll show you how to create an Android virtual device, also known as an AVD, in Android Studio, so that you can test your apps without needing a physical phone. But if you do have a physical phone and want to use it as your virtual device, I'm going to link a video up top there that shows you how you can be able to do that. But if you use, want to use the AVD, this is the video for you. So you want to create a virtual device first. So you're going to go to device manager, usually over here. But if you don't see it from here, you can just go to tools, device manager. It's the same process. So now you're going to click on this plus icon, create a virtual device you don't want to create on the remote you want to create a virtual device and then now you're going to select the type of phone that you want it's a fold medium phone small phone you can choose anything up to depending on the screen of your specifications you can just the pixel 8 pro 6 by 7 inch so and you want to click on next and now here is where it gets tricky so if you haven't downloaded any of these, you're going to need to download them. And also it says Intel Axiom is not installed yet. You're just going to so and also depending on the phone that you use, it's going to specify which one of the Android's version you're going to use. You can see this Android 12, 13, same all of those, but Sony is the one which is uh, recommended. You can choose the one which you want. We're just going to refresh the next page. So you can name your device is my tester. So you can orientation, just click on portrait, then finish. So you can see we have created the virtual device. So now you're going to launch using this play button. So if you do come across this error, Intel Haxam is not installed. Here's how you fix it. But if you don't get this error, just skip to this timestamp. So basically, I have linked that video at the top, but I'm just going to show you quickly. So, control panel, open control panel, then programs, turn Windows features on or off. Make sure it, virtualization is turned on this Hyper V. That was what was causing the issue. So just wait for it to finish. It will tell you to restart or something, but just wait for it to finish. So it's going to give you the option for restart now. You can click on restart now and we'll continue. And once you have restarted, you want to open up Android Studio again. Once it has opened, you want first to go back to control panel and confirm that it worked. As you can see, you must make sure this one is turned on. Yeah, so it worked. So now let's try and open this. Start starting AVD. So you're going to click on running devices and select your virtual device. So one of the drawbacks of this is that it's actually slower compared to an actual physical device but it also depends on the amount of ram that you have so if you have more ram it's not going to be as slow as when you have low ram so if you have low ram and you have a good phone you should consider using a physical device you can see it has powered on it is a little bit slow i don't know why i have sufficient ram but as long as it works though and that's it you know how you now know how to create a virtual device in android studio if this video helped you make sure to give it a like and subscribe to techhive hq for more android studio tutorials and tips thanks for watching and see you in the next one